International trade and its transportation. Assalamualaikum. Hi everyone. I am Shuriana from DLM Podi. Before I explain further about international trade and its transportation, you need to know that international trade involves supply chain and logistics concept. Logistics are the backbone of global trade. As supply chains become more globally dispersed, the quality of a country's logistics services can determine whether or not it can participate in the global economy. So, first of all, what is supply chain management? Supply chain management is an overarching concept that links together multiple processes to achieve competitive advantage. Next, what is logistics? Logistics refers to the movement, storage and flow of goods, services and information within the overall supply chain. This is the activities that include in supply chain management. Logistics is one of the activity or part of the supply chain management. After you understand both concepts, you also need to know the exact definition of international trade. So, what is international trade? It is the exchange of capital goods and services between many countries. Trading globally gives consumers and countries the opportunity to be exposed to goods and services that are not available in their own countries or which would be more expensive domestically. As you know, supply chain involves the flow of goods from raw material to finished goods. So, I will give you an example of the process of making a cotton t-shirt. The first process is filled to gin, second spinner to loom, third wet processing, fourth cut and sew, fifth transforming into a perfect print, sixth screen printing and lastly at your door or folded and placed into inventory. Transportation is really important because it can enable fast delivery of your product. But before that, what is transportation? Transportation includes the movement of goods and services, people and animal from one location to another. It includes sea transport, road transport, pipeline transport, air transport, and lastly, rail transport. International trade involves transportation that across national borders. For example, international trade between China and Malaysia. In order to deliver your product, transportation includes different types of documentation. When you buy a product from different country, the product must have the certificate of origin that refer to the country where the product were made. The next document is purchase order. It used when you make an order and it is a contract between you and seller from China. The journey of your product start at the seller's location or warehouse, which means the finished goods from the factory will be located in the warehouse for storing manufactured goods before being transferred to the port of origin by using dry container. Because of the seller use multiple mode of transport to deliver your product, it includes 
include combined transport document and for the shipment at bus later are sent by the supplier to you to inform the order goods are shipped. The next documentation is CMR Transport. It is used by forwarders as a contract for the carriage of goods by road internationally. Next, the product will go through the custom clearance. The documentation used is Commercial Invoice which is the demand note for payment like tax that is issued by the exporter to importer for the product ship. Then, the product will be moved to port of origin before delivered to Malaysia. It involves packing list document to know the detailed packing information of the goods ship. It also involves the certificate of inspection to inspect the shipment on the basis of quality, quantity and packing. It also includes the delivery note that serves to verify that the goods received match those listed on the purchase order. After that, the product will ship to Malaysia using sea transport. Sea transport is cheaper than air transport. The documentation includes its bill of lading. The original bill of lading should be produced by you as proof of ownership for claiming the product once it reached your country. Then, your product will reach the port of destination or Malaysia. It includes the bill of exchange which is a negotiable document to pay certain sum of money. Then, it will go through custom clearance again. Next, the product will safely deliver to buyer's location or warehouse without any problem. And lastly, the product will deliver to the retailer and you can get it through supermarket, store, or shop near with you. That's all from me. Thank you for watching!